Okay. Alright, everybody, welcome back to Burgundine. The new Omechia LP. We're going to continue this. And we're going to get a little bit further ahead than um, we've been already, so. So, what we got to do is I got to go over and double check a lot of things here. Um, I'm going to have to go and uh, put up some links here, so I'll be probably be right back. I got to do something as well, so. Uh, this isn't usually the normal time that I stream this, but um, I'm trying to figure out times and uh, all that sort of stuff as far as uh, how to get some stuff going because it's been a while since I've been able to do anything outside the multiplayer. Uh, just super busy with things. So let me go post some things. I have to do one thing real quick and I'll be right back. And uh, yeah, so just to kind of get it out there, let's... Let's do this. But yeah, uh, it could be Fridays. It possibly might be Fridays that I might end up doing this more so. We'll kind of see. But yeah, uh, just too many things going on. <laughs> I don't really have all the time to do everything I'd like to do on the time I want to do it. So, you know, just trying to get stuff done. Too much stuff going on in my life, really. That's that's the main thing. Uh, okay. Yep, there's also people that want to that wants to contact me and do things on the side, games on the side. How you doing, Elf Bickies? What's going on? The number one elf is finally back here again. I need to post a link here, a couple of them, and then I need to do one thing and I'll get started here. So, but yeah, welcome to the stream, Elf. How you doing today? How are you doing? I have to get this going, live streams. It's like I'm trying to jump back on the horse here trying to get things going you know uh, let's see here so yeah uh, Friday night might be a good time for me for this possibly uh, I'll have to see you know with uh, how things are going I'd be more detailed but then I'm getting too personal so I'll just uh, I'll leave it at that so far but I got to do one thing. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll get the show. We'll get the show on the road. Okay, all right. Well, whatever it is, I hope things are okay for you. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. I'm just, I'm swamped. I'm swamped with things to do. I just have a lot going on right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you for the uh, concern, though. I just have to do this. Okay, we're set to go. We're set to rock and roll. So, we have planned today is an attack on Salisbury. And then, we're going to try to link up... Oh, wait. Hold on. What the hell was I doing? Oh, you know what? Actually, that's not so bad. I probably should do it anyways. Okay, so, attack on Salisbury, and I think I have to do the attack on Old Trout. Okay, so I do this, I can link up, and we'll be good, because according to this, the Grand Edition's different, but according to... This, I cannot move troops through my ally. Grand Edition, you can. Here, you can't. It's weird. But, you know, so I'm doing a dual attack, merging together, gonna bring my troops over here, 
set a good defensive position, and then route out a Scalio with Carrion. That's kind of the point. And then Carrion will be able to move up through me, because there'll be an open position there, knock out the Empire, and we'll start working on those challenges, which we've got a lot of them to do. So, let's get going. Execute. There we go. Old Troot. I toast to everybody here with my awesome, awesome whiskey beer. Yeah. It tastes pretty good. It's a little heavy though, but. They're not gonna stay. Not gonna stay, not even a little bit. So yeah, it's just the time stuff, Elf. I just have to work on getting times to work for me. But everything's pretty good so far, you know. Nothing's uh, nothing's bad or terrible, you know. I just gotta work on getting stuff the right way. Otherwise, if I don't show up for the stream times that I've set in place, then uh, it's really anybody's guess as to when I'll be able to get on, you know. So Friday nights might be a good night for me. I'm starting to think it could be. Saturday nights possibly too. Um, if I do Saturdays, maybe afternoon more so? I'm not sure. I'll have to see. But if I do Friday nights, I might do like a longer stream of Brigandine. I might do maybe cut back one day of Brigandine and just do a longer stream so I could go for like three hours tonight if I feel like it. You know, just so everybody gets a, a good healthy dose of it. But, we'll see. Let's see here. Glaz, you... Probably go there. Eh, why not? Let's do some battle here. But yeah, how you doing, Elf? What's going on? I, I think I might stick to... Uh, trying doing stuff on the weekends here. That might be a little more helpful. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Could probably do that. You know, I just have to figure out when the right time is for Saturday. Friday right now might be a really good time for me though. You know? You know what I mean? Let's see here. Pop the giant there. Mr. Scorpion comes down here. Lizard man can file in suit right there. And the dragon is just out of play. Elf okay. That's good to hear. I can't believe they're actually gonna stay for this. Holy cow, what the heck's going on here? Falcos! You're booping me? No way. How you doing, Val? I'm getting booped. I love it. I love the boops. Keep them coming. If you can boop, please boop. Boop away. Can you believe they're staying with this? Just one Lord Vampire? Against my three guys? This is freaking crazy. Wouldn't this be fantastic if I can capture this Lord Vampire right now? This would be fan freaking tastic. Let's see. You're gonna come. Oh, you jerk. You, buddy! <laughs> How you doing, Val? What is going on today, dude? Thanks so much for the boop. I, I really always enjoy that. It's always fun. I'll have to return the favor next time. A stupid vampire. Okay. Sick at home chilling. I see. Alright, so. If I get these two clowns out of the way, I could go and attack Meltorphus. And hopefully take the vampire lord. That could be a thing. We'll see if that's even a thing. So, don't you think this is the right way to do it? 
I mean, I don't know what else to do. I mean, the Vampire Lord's gonna be sitting there. I could beat it down. I could kill it if I feel like it. But if I could steal it, I'd probably want to do that. Because this other little piddly stuff is not gonna do much to me at all, you know? Big Maddie Gookas! <laughs> How you doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know. It would be awesome to know all the details. Let's see here. So I can bomb. Well, I gotta get him out of the way somehow, but I've got other things here. So I could bomb you. I could blow you up with a flame attack. Glaw should come in and attack too. Archer shot. Mm, yeah, should start from here. Archer shot here, just like that. Elf going to gym, have a good stream. Oh, you're going to the gym. You gonna pump it out? What do you do at the gym, Elf? What, how do you do it? I mostly do a lot of upper body stuff. Or so. That's kind of me. That's kind of my thing. Let's see here. Well, I could take him out a little bit easier, I think. If I bomb him. But then I gotta do a power spell here. The dragon could go over chomp on him a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe this is a better idea. Let's try this out. What do you think, Val? Do you think this is a, a valid move? <laughs> you think this is a valid move, Val? I think it'll work out all that much right now. Oh man, well, can't go into water. Almost could, but not quite. We'll see what we get here. Gotta see what we can do. So yeah, so what's going on so far is that I've got um, Pincer Strike coming up. This is a part of the Pincer Strike as far as my attacks go. Attacking uh, Old Troot and Salisbury at the same time, trying to relink myself so I can get this team down there. This team will probably be settled on defense, hopefully, but I think I'll probably try to attack with him a little bit, just to build him up for right now, and then we'll see what we can do from there. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't even move out there. I could if with him if I... Try to get things rolling here. You know what? I should do it anyways. Just for the experience here. Because they're not going to stick around too much. Oh, it's been a while. So, it's been like a month. <laughs> we have uh, like four episodes, I think. So, no country has been taken over yet. I'm still like trudging along here uh fridays might be the day for me for this you know we'll see i think it possibly could end up happening that way but i gotta make some progress you know i really do I'm trying to figure out times i think i might stick to maybe weekends because i have things going on throughout the week and uh, yeah you know that's kind of the plan That's pretty good. I got another one lined up, too. Uh, what else do we have besides a dragon? Oh, that one works. What can we do with you, Mr. Scorpion? Okay, the Scorpion come over here, but... Giant could also... Giant's gonna do way more damage. So let's go for that. Yes! There we go, good. Alright, he looks pretty good. I think we should come out see... Oh no, we can't kill off the scorpion right now. That's not the best idea. We gotta have a horde of scorpions too, so I'm just gonna set him right there. Oh man. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna take him out like this. Ah, see what our third team can do.
Do you think they're gonna stay though? Because I mean they just stayed like immediately, but do you think they'll stay after I killed that wyvern? I'm kind of curious as to whether they will or not. Um. The dragon and a vamp lord will keep them there. All right. All right. Well. I think you might be right, but then again, I've got like a really powerful team compared to theirs. They've got a vampire lord and a dragon. I've just got way more things going on, you know? Okay, we'll have to let the scorpion take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Hopefully it won't be too much. All right. Let me get some purple candies going on here. There we go. <laughs> yes. That's what I wanted to do. No! Oh! I should have killed a vampire. But then again, he moved out of the way. There was no divine raid. If I would have divine raid him, then yeah, he'd be close enough for death, but... Oh well. At least we got a win there. We got a bit of a win, so... But yeah, Val, what I'm going to try to do is... If I can do this on Friday nights and do this for a while, I might do at least like maybe close to three hours worth of this so that I can get something done, you know, throughout the week of LPs and stuff. Show. Here's my pincer attack, Salisbury. Um. Oh boy. This is going to be a hell of a fight. Okay, so he's got a need here. He's got good range. Very good range. A lot of range, actually. Okay, so... Um, i got to be careful. Very careful here. I think really Garrett's is going to be the only one that's going to be close enough to the front lines. Hopefully we'll secure it and hold the lines with him. King Cole's gonna have to stick back just a little bit. Big Maddie is here. Some frontline stuff. I think we're gonna have to put the demons in the front. We're gonna have to tear down some front liners that are coming up to me. I think if I could take a need out. If I can take her out right away, that might save me some time, but then again, I I don't think that'll make Zemeckis back off. I think he'll come up and still do his worst to me. I think he really will. You know? Okay. All right, Zemeckis. This is going to hurt, because he's got so many range things. This is nuts. Ah, right. Let's see. Big Maddie, you're gonna have to help frontline this thing. Seriously. 
very, very seriously. I'm gonna need a lot of help with that. I hope you can hold up, Big Maddie. Okay. I think we'll have equal damage because he's like half my level. Since blue is a little bit better anyways. 203, can I get 210 off of him maybe? Okay, never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh crap. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. He just excelled the team at. That's a very, very bad thing. Get a bonus? Thirty-three, nice. Level seven. Oh, you better not. Come on. Oh, God, no. Mm. <sighs> well, at least I have the other demon there. That might help a little. Okay, uh, where are we gonna put you? I think you should go. I don't want to put you there. I'd rather put you here, but then Zemeckis will be able to shoot you from such a long distance. I don't have a lot of good places for you, really. All I can really do is put you about here. Hope that that will sate something here. Shoot down to Gollum. I'd rather shoot for the the Hydra, but I need I need magic to overwhelm it, really. Alright, good. Okay! Come on down, Zemeckis. Oh boy. Shit. Two seventeen. Okay, I'm glad that Big Maddie's there to block this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Come on, Big Maddie. Please, Big Maddie, you gotta take this thing down. This is your job. Right here. You gotta take this thing down. Is a chicken gonna go? Nope, nowhere. Nope, he's not going anywhere either. Okay, I gotta cleanse this up. We gotta curse up that. Oh, that team, it's not gonna do too much, but I gotta do something to it. Maybe I'll dimension it. That could be a good option. Um, let's see here. So breath attack's pretty good for right now. That's not a bad idea. Uh, the breath attack won't do too much to you, but it'll definitely hit some Mechus. That should be pretty good. I slash here. I think either that or I move my dragon up and physically attack it, which might be a better option actually. Seeing as how I'm going right now, this could be the best way to do it. Uh, I could cure him up, but I think I should cleanse her. I can do a curse on you, which I kind of need to. I'd rather not to mention this team it. I'd rather just completely get rid of it, because that breath attack there on Cole is going to be very painful. We're going to have to pop protect here. 
Because I gotta make sure I don't get hurt as much as he does. <laughs> and you know it's true. Should I level up Garant? You know, I probably should try if I can. I don't know. We'll see. We gotta take this team out, though. This is thing has gotta go. Oh my god, dude! 357 Chevy! Holy cow! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I got a 357 Chevy right there. <laughs> Whoa. I think Big Maddie could take this thing out, no problem. No problem. Do you see? You saw that, right? <laughs> Damn, what a rush. <laughs> I think Big Baddie's good enough to knock it out, but I probably need to just pump a little bit of Aya Slash in here, just to make sure. We're gonna have to heal up Garen too. There we go. Big Maddie, you're on. You're up to bat. When you get the chance, you will have your opportunity. Time in the limelight. It will come. It will come to be, Big Man. It will come to be. Get to take down a gigantic Tiamat. You know what? They don't have any healers, so this is going to be interesting to see what they decide to do here. Should I? Nah. I should just just play some defense for now. Now, I could halo this for an insane amount of experience, but I do have to work on this Hydra too. It's very important. So, I think I'm going to have to split up my decision here just a little bit. Could do a Geno Flame. Ooh, a Thunder Spell on this thing would just wreak havoc. Let's do that. All right. All right, Big Maddie. Stone so punch this thing to death, please. Please, I know you can. Boom! Goodbye. This will cut down on a lot of problems for me in the future here. Ooh. Agility 1, that's good. Strength is always nice, but agility's good. Let's do. Do a van no, well, I don't know. What should I do? Let's definitely start off with the curse first. I smell a Talos too, Valkos. I do. We're gonna start with this curse first. I'm not too worried about leveling up the demons. It's not not that important to me, but Whoa! Frost! With a boop again! Oh man, am I blessed tonight? Two boops in one night. This is awesome. How you doing, Frost? What is going on, dude? Frost is relaxing, comfy in his chair, booping me. I feel pretty good. I do. Doing pretty good, Frost. Thanks for jumping in here. I might have to change my stream schedules to maybe Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, for some stuff, because a lot of other things going on. And so, might have to be that way, but, you know, I'm still working on trying to figure out the schedule and all that stuff, you know, all that crazy stuff. All right, so, 18, 10, who goes next? 18, 11, and, oh, you're way too far away. There's no way you'll ever get in battle. So, number two's going next, so I should kill this thing off as fast as possible, probably. And... So yeah, chillin' Mang. Yes, I have my chair. I just uploaded. I lazed out on the earlier, and then it's my wifey time. Yes, it's always important. Very important stuff. You know what? Do you think that of? Okay, let me ask you real quick. If I were to, because I've got the demon to go to. If I were to venom the Hydra and then Geno Flame, do you think that'd be enough to kill off this Hydra, or? Because if I Geno Flame, then I get at least a little more options here. Do you know what I'm saying? I do a Venom first. What do you? What? Do you, what's your take on this? Because I can't curse it from there, but I could Venom him. Take off maybe 60 something points. 
you know. So you think that a Venom and then a Geno Flame would be enough to kill, at least kill it and then damage some of these two. That's what I'm trying to figure out, because otherwise, I'm going to Thunder him up and I'm going to Venom Zemeckis to poison his to poison his ass so that maybe he'll leave. You know, because even with some of this gone, Zemeckis might just flat out stay. You know he probably will. So... Well, I do want him to level up, that's that's for sure. I mean, let's see, he's level 18. You know, I do need a lot more... I need a lot more to get him up there, because I'm going to definitely get him to, you know, five stars, convert him, make all that kind of stuff go. Juno won't we'll do it alone, but you'd have to consider you want to get sex. Red beats blue here, so I think you're safe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I was thinking this will probably work, so... I was just considering other options. There's two options. It's either... I thunder him, kill him in one shot, and then Venom Zemeckis, or Venom, this Hydra, Geno Flame, you know, so we'll try this out, we'll see. I'll go with your guys' opinions on this, so. It might work, it might work, because Hydra's intelligence is pretty, pretty bad, and uh, this could definitely, oh yeah, yes, 79, there we go. Frost, I don't know if you saw it, but I had a 357 Chevy attack with my Salamander on the Demon earlier. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, time to burn this all down. I gotta go get a new drink here. Yeah. That yeah, was pretty cool. Thanks, guys. But yeah, you should have seen that. If you just... If you're able to rewind a little bit, just go back. As soon as the Salamander attacks, critical attack, 357. No power attack at all. Just a Salamander on a Tiamat. You know, typical... Typical stuff here. Whoa! 151. I didn't even need... Well, yeah, I did need to. That's right, I did. 19. Intelligence, 2. Room power, 7. Whoa. Very nicely done. Gonna stay? Yep. <laughs> Zemeckis is here. He's not leaving. They have so much range. Look at all the, look at all the possibilities of range he has. And they excelled the team to get into the battle, too, Frost. Quite literally, this, this, right here, this makes no sense. I don't know if he's gonna, like, move around the top and come and attack me, or... I'm thinking he's just gonna sit there and thunderbolt me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I almost wish I would've poisoned him now. Because he's protected. That could've helped me a little. Alright, I'll be right back. <sighs> See how things are going here. All right, this is going to be interesting. Magic dimension. I could probably would work too. Let's see what else? Fog? No. All I got is dimension. I might as well. <laughs> I might as well. It's got no intelligence. Probably will work. I gotta give her some experience somehow. Zemeckis isn't here yet for me to do anything. I'll kill off more monsters. Where's the little doggy gonna go? Okay, that wasn't the greatest, but we'll live with it. <laughs> I know, I know. Not the greatest thing, but okay, well, we gotta deal with it somehow. Alright, so we're here. It is out of the blue, I think. He can come back into the blue, though. So, I could... Um, I could move a unit here and here. Or, I can't really block her much. She. 
she can't be blocked. But if he comes within range, I can definitely start frost, you know, frosting him up and we'll be okay. So it's a little bit of a detriment, but Pixie Murder, maybe, I don't know. Might be able to. Maybe not. Alright, so let's check out let's check out some options. I don't have to worry about the back line. A back line with just one Fenrir. Not gonna do anything to me really. Okay. Big Maddie, are you protected? Normal? No. Okay, so. Heels. Let's see here. I'm just gonna pick on this. I need to wall this off a bit because Zemeckis might try to come in here. I gotta keep my back line safe. He's way too strong for that. I'm gonna protect and heal up the front line and just pray for victory. So basically the dragon, Big Maddie, and the Sally. Those things gotta stay alive. More than anything. Okay. We'll see what he does with that, <laughs> with the Fenrir. I was hoping the Fenrir to go way up in the hills, you know? But, no bueno, didn't work. All right. I should probably heal up Garrett. I probably should, you know? Might be a good idea, considering the kind of stuff I've been going through. Ow. Yep, I kind of need to pretty badly. Pretty badly. Oh, geez. <sighs> so, as far as the challenges go, they're gonna suck. <laughs> now I just got stoned. <laughs> okay, at least it's a pixie, though. I don't like. I don't need it so badly. Come on, Carlotta. You can survive this, Carlotta. Eep! Yes! I'm not gonna do any damage to it either. I need my unicorns to kill it, and I, I gotta use them for heals too. Yeah, you're, you can't move from that space, dude. <laughs> it's not gonna happen that way. <laughs> Alright, Frost. You take care. That trigger. Trigger's gotta survive this one. We gotta make an army of scorpions. As per request last year. Purple candies! Yes! And they have no healers, so this is gonna be good. I'm gonna manipulate that as much as I can. Where are you going, huh? Oh, geez. Oh, I don't like that. Not at all. I don't think Garrett can even deflect these arrows here in this version. I don't think he can. Uh. <laughs> or it just fails to hit. Fails to connect. I'll take that. Okay, we got one for you. Oh gosh, we need it so bad. Garrett, my friend. Gotta save you from all the damage that's happening here. Okay. Can we knock this thing out? My, well, maybe. If I land a good hit, but this thing is still here. Hmm. Do you have a breath attack? Could probably knock out the pixie and this thing, maybe. But I also have to do a protect here too, so let's... Alright, if the dragon can land a hit, the trigger will get a kill. Because I'm pretty sure this will work out just the way I want it to be. Gets a good crit. 
or not. I was hoping for a crit. That's what I was hoping for. Why isn't everybody giving me their luck? Come on. Give me all your luck for this. I need it. Very badly. Alright. I'll do what we have to do. Let's see here. This big guy's here. Um, how are we going to take him down? Zemeckis is here still. Not good. This thing still has a lot of potential. It's a high level 2. Maybe I should kill this thing off first. This thing might be the better option because it's level 6 versus this level 3. And a bite mark and a slash wound could be enough. I'm pretty sure it will be. Unless I just flat out kill it. Um, let's protect... Trigger. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going at it. I'm gonna level this one up. This will be the first one leveled. Up to a death needle. 76, pretty good. I like it. Alright, level 6. Nice. Let's bite your little face off. Oh, just enough. <laughs> just enough. Here we go. Nice little level for you, I slash. I'd almost like to take out the rock bird, but I've got magic coming his way. So I do have magic going that direction, so. Should be all right. I just want to get Garrett some kills. I gotta level up Garrett, like you wouldn't believe, because we need to have a decent, a really good, you know, decent team here. We really do. Uh, Big Maddie, should I halo a rock attack? Ooh, the options I have are awesome. Let us do what we must. Get rid of the Griffin. We might be able to knock this out. I don't know. Zemeckis could still stay. It's very probable that he'll still stay because he's butthurt over losing all his best stuff. Very possible. But I don't know. I'm not worried about the dog. Not even a little bit. Cortina or Carlotta might be even... She might be able to take out the dog. Or the rock. What do you think? Let's see here. Alright, we're gonna start up with a curse. Nice juicy curse on you. You know what? I should try... I should just go in and attack it. Let's try... Oh, wait. I don't have Geno Flame now? Oh, damn. Well, Divine Ray would knock this thing out. That's for sure. Okay. Big Maddie, we gotta level you up. And I can't do a haloed kill on this thing right now. It's just not going to happen. But I have to attempt a hit. So what I'm going to end up doing... I'm going to thunder him up. I don't think I need a heal right now. Nobody desperately needs a heal. Maybe... Nope. We're going to go thunder... Now, Big Maddie, you gotta get this hit, dude. I gotta hope you get this hit. I think you might, though. So I've got some confidence in you. I think you might be able to. 
All right, good. Good, good, good. 188. Feeling great. Let's go over here. 46 to 63. Decent odds. I think Big Maddie could take it out. Come on, Big Maddie, please. Yes! Go, Big Maddie, go! Oh! <laughs> Good job. Level 18. Perfect. Ah, oh, they're gonna bounce. They're going to bounce. All right, since that's the case, she's gonna take out this dog. Should be pretty easy. Give her a level. Move on with our day. Get another battle done. There we go. All right, unicorns are coming in for attack mode. And I think we'll drop a Fallberg on him. How about that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just drop a Fallberg on him just for the hell of it. Let's do it. We're going to see some ice tonight. Okay, one nice Fallberg coming right up. I don't know if I have. Nope. Nothing else here. I could charm him, but Zemeckis retreats, then, you know, nothing really happening, so. This is kind of how I felt the other last two days. It was literally minus 25 degrees outside. Two days ago, here in Wisconsin, minus 25 degrees. It was supposed to be a minus 51 wind chill. It was completely... It messed things up for me. I'll say that much. It totally messed things up for me. It wasn't wasn't very good. All right, Zemeckis, get out of here. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. This is nice. Level 9. That's good. Trigger went up to 7. Unicorns, pixies, okay. Alright, well, we made some pretty good progress so far. Let's do some organization here. Oh, this feels so good. Day and night visits Lance. Ooh, brunette lady knight, Prince Lance. It's good to see you again. You! <laughs> I'm so glad that you're alright. I've been worried about you. I'm glad that you're all right too, Prince Lance. Your name? What is your name? I didn't have the chance to ask you for your name when you saved my life. I had no way of finding you. My name is Haley. Some people call me Shooting Star Haley. I knew you were someone famous, so you are the Shooting Star. Garrett, is she famous? Yes. I heard that there is no knight superior to her skills among the knights who don't belong to any lord. Is that so? I had no idea. Thank you again for the other day. If it had not been for you, I would not be standing here today. It's my pleasure to be of help. I'm now fighting for the reinstatement of Amekia, as you know. Haley, will you help us out? Let's defeat Zemeckis and return peace to the continent. Is there something wrong? I'm afraid I cannot work for you. I hope you understand. May I ask why? I'm traveling in search of a magician, and therefore I can't stay in one place. May I ask who the magician is? Magician who killed the man I love. The magician Bullnoy. I will keep on going until I kill him. But you're a knight. Isn't it a duty of a knight to fight for the happiness of the people? What has to be done now by a knight is to end the war as soon as possible and restore order to this continent. I have fought in the battles and believe that by restoring Omekia would be the shortest way to achieve the goal. Am I wrong? Prince. Prince. You are right. However, Lady Haley is not wrong either. What do you mean, Garrett? I don't understand what you're saying. Different people live different lives. The kind of life one chooses to live is nobody else's choice but their own. However, one must choose 
a path, they must take the responsibility for the outcome. Choose yourself. Take responsibility yourself. Yes. And this is the way I choose to live my life. I'm prepared to take the responsibility, but I can't let Bulna be out there. Lady Haley, different ways for different people. I thought there was only one right way. I have never thought it that way. Prince. Thank you, Garen. There are so many things that I still need to learn. I'm sorry for being assertive, Haley. I wish you could join us, but I understand what you're saying. Good luck to you in your search for the magician. In the meantime, I will have my people look into this matter and see if they can get any information about him. Prince, thank you for understanding. When I achieve my goal, I will come to see you again. And if you still need my service then, I will be glad to work under you. Okay, then I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, she doesn't join this time. I don't remember if she will join in the future. I mean, um, uh, I don't remember the LOF version quite so much, but I know sometimes she joins you, sometimes not. I think it depends on how many castles you have. She might come back. But we'll see. Either way, I have to start making some progress here. So let's get everything organized over on the southern, southeastern side so we can take out Escalio and uh, have our way with the country. Three stars. Nothing else out of place. Nothing else I can do. I got a ghoul here, but I can't... I might be able to use it. Let's see. Fifty-five. There we go. Okay, we got the ghoul in play. Let's see, do I need this? No, not so much. Big Maddie's level 18. We got 615 to go to get you to level 19. Let's see if we got an equipment. I don't think we have any equipment left. A black amulet. Interesting. Monsters can't equip, that's right. Um, wait, what does she have? Oh! Okay, Tora Black Amulet. Who are we going to give that to? Gloss. That could be his thing. Alright, that's going to be his thing. That'll be good. Um, you lose somebody here, just a little bit. Not too much of a concern. Let's see what we can class. No, level 2. Let's organize over here. I don't think I can. That's 5 off. That's 80. 75. This could work. Just like that. I've got 100 bucks left. Let's see what we can summon here. Okay. Hydra or Demon? Let's see how... Let's... Here. First of all... I only have a few tanks. I don't have a lot of tanks, really. I guess we're gonna go with the Hydra. And then after that we get a Ghoul. <clears throat> we got a decent tank team here. This should be decent. You know, I really wish Haley could have joined at this point in time, because that would have freed up some things. I could have done a little bit more, but... Oh well, that's the way it goes, I suppose. Cannot get everything the way you want it to be. As much as you want everything in life, it doesn't always end up being that way. Alright, this looks a little better for tankiness. I like it. Alright, so we got Lance over here. He's gonna have to move. Um, let's check out the map, because we've got... A really good defensive team over here. Zemeckis attacked me, took me on with that. I'm going to have to attack with this other team down into Escalio's territory, though. So I'm thinking I'll stand them on Salisbury. I could do that. But I need to keep my really, really good team over on Aston so that I get to keep that. 
that's super important. If I lose at all, I can move over to Aston and still defend it, but I definitely need to, oh, to do it like that. So I think that's probably what we're going to run into. I think this is the case. Let's make sure this is okay. Uh, don't... We could shape this around a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Change a few things up. 85. Nope. Could do this, but that's not really doing much. This could work. I've got 15 there. Okay, if we can get a ghoul, we're fine. Although I don't think you can, because you get angels here. Yeah, you can't. Alright. So... What else do we gotta do here? Should I quest these other guys? Nope, 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 nope. Because if Lance is over here with me, I'm gonna need something as backup in case I lose a knight here. So I'm gonna need these other guys as backup knights. Um... Let's see what you got. Merman... Well, he does have a ghoul. I could drop off a ghoul, but that won't help me much as far as progress goes. Let's move Lance... over to Aston. Um... Okay, so that's 60, 160, 180 points left. How much can we get out of this? Oh, a unicorn would be fantastic. Okay, we'll get one unicorn for Lance's team. I'd like something else, but I can't really get much else here. Pixie would be interesting, but I don't think I need that for his team right now. I'd rather see what I can get on Aston. I know Zanass is better because I can get dragons there. Alright, move over to Aston. Okay, you guys are going to move to Salisbury. And you guys are going to move back to Aston. Alright, looks pretty good. Okay, Lance, Garrett, Cole, Legel. I'll move into Aston. And get Camelford, Salisbury, Batarkus on Quest. Let's see what we did to Zemeckis here. Oh, geez. He's going to come at us full force, isn't he? I'm afraid of this, and especially Salisbury, too. He's probably going to come after Salisbury. But we do have to go after Zanass. Somehow. Some team has to go after Zanass. I think it's going to have to be our other team. That's not the greatest. And I think, since I'm leaving some open spaces here, he might attack the two open spaces that I'm leaving for him. That might change his trajectory as far as what he wants to attack. So the Empire might get a little stronger, but then again, they might be a little more confused, and this might help us out in the long run. But we do have to attack Escalio. If Kai attacks Escalio, that's going to change things dramatically. Then I'm going to have to send my other team over there to defend while I send another team to attack. We'll play by ear that way. Alright, looks pretty good. Okay, I really can't attack right now. Yep, I can't attack. Let's just go ahead and save her up because we made some pretty good progress so far. I just hope I don't get a defensive move right here. I don't want to play defense right now. Don't feel like it. I'm going to be back down to five in no time, but as soon as we get moving into Escalio's territory, we'll be all right. You're kidding me, really? He's gonna come after me here? Okay, what does he got? Oh god. Oh god, no. Cortina's here too. This is gonna be very tough. So Zemeckis. So you're Zemeckis. Jeez, you look... You sure look intimidating. But I'm going to beat you up so that I can go back to, to st the stage and dance. Stage? Dance? What are you talking about? It's none of your business, but dancers like myself are... Uh, are affected by your war. And it's not just dancers, poets, traveling merchants, 
so many people who can't do business unless there is peace in the world. The world doesn't belong to knights. Well, that makes sense. However, if you're a dancer, shouldn't, be, shouldn't you be concentrating on your career on the stage? This is a battlefield, and people like you don't belong here. Drop your weapons and take a hike. Shut up! I'm only fighting to create a world where I can dance without any worries. Are you ready, Zemeckis? You're an idiot. But if you really want to fight, I accept your challenge. This is going to suck if he one-shots her, because he can. And I've seen him do it before. I'm a little worried. Okay, I'm really worried here. And they've got two pixies on his team, so he could protect himself like a million times. This is not going to be particularly enjoyable to me. I do have to find a way to beat him. Bring it on, big guy. Bring it on. <sighs> Malay's team is probably gonna, not going to be too much trouble. She has a dragon and all that, but not, not too much I can't handle. Come on, Zemeckis. Bring it on, guy. You want to take me on, Zemeckis? Bring it. If I can get some paralyzers out of this, that will help a lot. A whole lot. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> and another paralyzer! <laughs> Raging Paul's here. To be, he'd be eating this up right now. Go right ahead. I don't care. If you can hit me, you can do it. You just gotta hit me first. That's all. I don't care if he's protected as long as he can counterattack. It's not not a big deal to me. Not even a little bit. All right, so should I move you? Well, if he can't attack, I probably can. Let's see why I don't. Get a heavy hitter in here. A nice giant hit would probably do do the trick. Okay with me. It's okay with me. 
All right, Zemeckis, uh, you want to stay right there? You want to move forward? It's your choice, buddy. Your choice. I think we're gonna end that. Possibly nuke him down a little bit. Let's get the giant to do a nice, strong attack that can't miss. Okay, that's not so bad. I'll take it. Uh, Uni should go right there. Now, they don't have a team that can heal, so I can take my time with this. Do a simple flame attack. Somebody else will take it down. Maybe the Hydra could do it pretty easily. I think the Hydra will definitely be able to take him down. This is going to be all about biding my time here. I think so. But is she the same level as a need? Oh, she is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. So, <sighs> what's the plan of attack here? Take out a need first. Um, I don't think she has anything to get there besides the ghoul. Yeah, go ahead and protect the pixie. I don't care. It's no big deal. Breath attack her. This guy has to move out of the way. They don't have any heals. He can't stay in the line of battle. He cannot stay in the line of... He cannot stay in that lineup, that's for sure. Could do uh, a couple attacks here. But she could also just back off, and then there's nothing else I can do with that. Let's see what we can do here. Fog? Nope, that's not going to help me much at all. I think I have a plan. I'll try to make her run. Zemeckis might run consequently because of it, because I don't think his army is going to be able to... Oh, there's Elf right there. The number one Elf. Where'd you go, Elf? Come back here! Ninety points of damage. Number four, Dragon. Come and do the attack, please. Any way I could kill a need, I think I'm gonna try. Because the Mechas is gonna stay very far away. I'm not gonna be able to hit him. Whoa! 142. Good for you. One forty-two to you, good sir. There we go. It's his turn. What are you going to do, Zemeckis? Holy crap! Okay, Zemeckis is in. Uh, okay, just a Tempest Bow. That's good. And I'm glad it's not on Carlotta either. That could have worked. Uh, still would have been terrible. He would have done like 250-something if he would have gotten that right. Oh, jeez. What am I going to do with myself here? Okay, I'll be right back. I have to think of a plan. 
I don't know what I, I, I want to do, but I'm going to hit some Echis a bit, try to hit a need, kind of play with that. Okay, what the hell happened here? Uh, not great. Ooh, per okay, I like that. That I can do too. Uh, might be something good. Nuts? Okay. We can paralyze Amechus, well, this will, uh, this could be nuts. This would be a lot of fun, too. A little tentacle snap. Can we? No. Oh. Ouch. gonna have to do it. I don't have a choice. This is too strong of a battle. I gotta try to get a win here. I can't have him doing this all day. I just can't. He's no bueno. Like, I, I can't have this mech cat attacking me over and over again. And this is like my third... This is like the, my worst team, actually. So if I can beat him with my worst team, I'm gonna be happy. Can we trap him right now? I'd love to trap him if I can. Nope. Ooh. Could do this. Might be able to shoot down the... the Griffion. Possibly. Five, is that enough for a centaur shot? I don't think so. No, not really. Not enough for that. Could have went out there too. But let's see here. In need. I think she's low enough that she might run away or just pull out of the battle, possibly. I think we should try to work on Zemeckis right now. So, she's a bit of a gamble shot, but I definitely think that if she is going to go, I might as well start focusing on him. Ugh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's see here.
See that little attack? It could easily kill Gilsus off. Oh, come on, really? Frost attack and a regular attack. I think that should be good. Let's do it like that. I was thinking of a powered attack on a lizard guard, but he's only level 5. I don't know if that would have done any serious damage to him. Ouchie. Okay, we'll do it like this, okay. We'll do it like that. Yep, can't move out of the way. Let's try poisoning him. Get a good purple candy going here. This would be nice. 35. Nope. No good. Okay. All right. I could do a Geno Frost. No, no. no I don't, I, that's right. I don't have that. Uh, hit the dragon or hit Zemeckis. I think we'll hit Zemeckis. Let's focus on this guy. We can kill him. We'll be good. Good. 357. <laughs> there we go. We got him down to 357. Let's see here. Should I go and stun the Hydra, maybe? Mm. Could be a good option. Let's give that a shot. I think I'll try that more than uh, hitting the dragon right now. Oh, that's right. That doesn't work here. Never mind. I'm so used to Grand Edition with the stun. 99. Okay, Malay. Come on down. Drake versus a ghoul is always one of the most uneventful attacks ever. Protect the scorpion, I like that. That's good. That's a good option, always. Always a good option. Middle bow. You decided to stay within death's range, alright. You're going down, Anid. Going down. You can't even hit him. He's on a castle. You can't even hit him. All right. My turn. Time to blow your army away. And who should do it? I don't know. It's either the dragon or the hydra. I think we'll get the dragon up a little bit higher first. That way we can move the djinn over and elf can do a serious attack here. Let's wait. Hold on. How much elf did he? 34 I got. Elf, I got you up there. No problems whatsoever. You'll be just fine. All I can do is fog with her and I can't do much else. Problem is, if he attacks her with a crit, she's just done. It's seriously that bad. It seriously is that bad. She's done. <sighs> so, I gotta keep her away from Zemeckis. 
which kind of sucks. Just 73, really? Does she have protect on? She doesn't have protect on, though. She does have protect on it. When in the hell did that happen? I don't remember that. I really don't. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to have to do a couple attacks here. That's okay. We'll get a really high level elf on our team, which is always good. It's always a good thing. <sighs> okay, Elf. Do your best. Take this out, please. This should definitely do it. 60. Goodbye. Very good. Nice. Very nicely done. Okay, I think... Yep. I'm going to move her up into a slightly better position. I don't know. I don't know if I should. They have Zemeckis with a possible Tempest Bow. This centaur is sitting here waiting to shoot. That could be very bad for her. Overall, you know. Or this Tempest Magic, actually. So this could be potentially devastating to her. Yeah, he'll be able to fly around. I'm stuck. Let's do fog on you. I don't know what else to do with her right now. I really don't. I really don't. Okay, acid breath. I can't stop that. I was hoping he might attack, you know, come in for an attack or something, but no. I really seriously was hoping that I wasn't going to get an attack on defense, but, you know. Jeez. Jesus. Jesus, guys. Falcos, what's going on, dude? You still sick? Did you get out of it? Did you snap out of it? I can't click right now. I could click. You might be able to hear it, but... Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 okay, that's not as bad, <laughs> I was thinking he was going to do it on, you know, on, uh, Gils is there, ow, ow, Ow. 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 Yeah, that hurt. You... Oh. Just when you thought it was gonna work out. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Okay, I can come around. We can try attacking him and go to town and see if this will work out, but we'll find out in a second, you know. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, but I got a paralyze of one point of damage and I paralyzed him. No way. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that feels great. We are, we are going after him now. I don't care. He's paralyzed. You can't stop me. Can you get a critical, man? Nope. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put all the damage I can into this guy. No problem. Let's see here. Let's heal up. Uh, who to heal? The giant, maybe? The giant could go over here, but I don't think he can go any further. Um. Well, he is frontlining. Yeah, why not? Let's go with the giant. Let's do that. All right, cool. That is so nice. One point of damage, but the paralyzer on top of it to just smack him down. Oh, yeah. I love it. You know what? Just to keep them from getting any further, you're, I'm sorry. This isn't... I know. I know. He's level 7, but... I gotta try to guarantee this. I'm gonna keep them out of range as much as I can. I'm gonna do piddly little points of damage to him, but I'm gonna be able to hopefully knock him out the park. I probably should have done that first. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but oh well. Here we are. He didn't do a counter to him, so we're okay. We're still technically okay. 45. I think Gilsus is going to make bank here. I think he is. Let's see here. Can you move in? Nope, not even a little bit. That doesn't help me at all. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? I could actually level up my scorpion all the way. If I can get him low enough, I can level up the scorpion almost all the way. We'll see. We'll see. 45 points damage. I like it. Not exactly, but I'll take it. Frost up Zemeckis. And hopefully the scorpion will get the kill. We'll see. We'll see in a second here. Get a nice juicy death needle out of this. He is protected, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think this is uh, not feasible. But it's either that or the unicorn. The unicorn doesn't have any. Doesn't have good attack either. So we'll see. And poison on top of it. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Heal up. Uh, let's see here. Nope, you're still okay. I think we should probably heal up Gilsus though. In case he comes to play. We'll heal up Gilsus for right now. Another breath attack. Some mecha shot. That could end things for me very easily. Uh, the four Mandrake. Aforementioned Mandrake. Nope. We're gonna heal up the. Yep. Heal up the Mandrake. Get that going. Kaboom. Done. Uh, you should just wait for now. I don't need any of that. Oh, geez. I'm gonna lose my dragon, I think. I don't think I'll get to keep him. A number one elf, I'm a little worried about you too. I'm sorry, elf, but this is like a critical battle. I need. Oh, you won't get hit with that, but. There's a centaur that might go. I'm okay with that. I can buy more centaurs. I always buy them. I just need to get some mechas gone, so I'm putting out bait to make sure they focus on something else. 
so I can get Zemeckis out of here, because I don't need another defense. I'd rather kill Zemeckis, take out his entire crew, make the Perforce retreat far, far away, so I can end up going in and doing some serious damage to Escalio, because i got to move south. I don't have time for this. I really don't. They're gonna kill no matter what. They got two options. They have a they have a Griffin and a, a this lizard man. This lizard man's probably gonna take probably gonna take to it too. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Centaur, but I had to play you like that. Had to do it. Just had to do it. Plus, the other reason is Elf. I had to keep you alive. If I left number one elf out there without any other type of thing to pick on they would have taken out elf can't do that just cannot do it it's not something I want to do really wish I could do something with her all I can do is fog right now that sucks really sucks Number one, Elf, you are going to be stupid high with all kinds of stuff because Zemeckis is gone. That's it. It's game over. It's just totally game over. Zemeckis is gone. Oh, this Hydra is going to go up so high too. If he even had an MP, he would have gone up really high. All right. Um... 165? No, it won't work. It will not work. We're gonna have to do the dragon attack. Take out the centaur. The hydra go and attack the scorpion. It should work like that. Then the number one elf will become the number. Well, we'll still say a number one elf. But will become an amazing elf at that point. Just because she took out Zemeckis. Oh, I got purple candies. I should attack the dragon just for fun, but I'm gonna get her killed. <laughs> I know I will. It won't be cool. Nope. Ah, oh, jeez, I wish I could do more. Attack the dragon. Then we'll finish up this little battle here. If Zemeckis can handle a level 12 Jin hitting him on Protect, I'm going to pull out all my hair. I'm just going to. I'm going to look like that ghoul right there. I'm going to pull out all my hair, get really big veins, turn blue. It's going to look sick. Not in the cool way, but it's going to look sick. Get out of here, Zemeckis. I'll blow some cool <laughs> gin air on you. Number one elf. Number one elf. Let's do it. Let's do it. Please. Blow him away. How can I let you defeat me? You'll pay for that in blood. Are you sure about that, buddy? Whoa. Whoa. Get your ass out of here. But do 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 level seven, level five. This team is starting to shape up pretty good. I have to get number one elf up to number fourteen, whatever level she's at right now. I don't need the ghoul. But I do have to reorganize. Okay, okay. K 
Carleon's invaded. Oh, man. They gotta go. Carleon's too strong for that. Way too strong for that. That's true. Okay, we've seen this quest before millions of times in Grand Edition. I'm just going to skip through some of them because I need some guys to come back. I want to make some progress tonight. Push into Scalio a bit. Slance, a boy named Elsass is here. <laughs> Would like to see you. A boy? Okay, I'll meet with him. Thank you for meeting with me. My name is Alsace. It's nice to meet you, Alsace. I'm Lance. Wow, you're really young, and you're the king? What? I would like to be ki a king like you someday. Do you think that's possible? Do I think? <laughs> that's what I thought. Listen, Alsace. In order to become the king of a country, you must study hard and always try to improve yourself. You must do it for the people of the country and yourself as well. Is that right, King Lance? Yes, that's right. I understand. Then I should train to become a king under King Lance starting today. What? There is something I should tell you. I'm protected by the mysterious power of the runes. However, I think it would be better if I trained to become a knight first. Is that okay with you? What did you say? Okay, I will allow you to do so. However, not every knight can become a king. To tell you the truth, I'm not a king yet. I will become a king when I defeat Ascaris and restore the Elmechia. Alsace, the important thing is to become a person who is qualified to be king, not just to become a king. You're as clever as I had imagined. Okay, I'll do the best to become someone who is qualified to be a king. Does he really understand? Not really, and they didn't really explain it the way that monarchy typically goes. So, anyways, we finally have Alsace. He's a part of the challenge. I think he's, uh, what is it? What is the challenge? Uh, get up to level 20? After we look through this again, it's been literally a month since I played uh, the whole thing, so let's just check everything out, make sure everything's good. I got some things I have to work on, but Alsace here, level 1 fighter. I don't know why I press the wrong button all the time, but I'm getting better at that. So, 55 Intelligence, 64 Agility, 63 Strength. On paper, compared to Lance, not as good. 446 in HP. 442, 107, 1 out of 6, or 4 out of 6. 203, 121. He's just not as good to start. He really isn't. But he's got 155 to start. Lance is 220. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll level them up together and see how they work. But I'm going to have to get some other guys in here to see how this is going to play out, you know? So let's organize a few things here. Let's get the demon on Lance's side. 70, 30, 35, 20, 55, 55, what can do for 55? A unicorn? No, he's already got a unicorn. Actually, he doesn't really need a merman quite so badly. Let's get rid of that. Alright, 60, 80, 80 points. Okay, 80 points. Hmm. Two centaurs might be right up my alley. And then I gotta worry on the worry about the other team, but that's gonna be interesting too. Alright. Looks good enough to me. So we can't level up Lance until we take over the Empire. Kai has decided to move into here. Which is totally cool. It's fine with me. Um, Alright, let's try to class up some stuff here. Almost. 
Let's order you here, you over here. Number one, elf. Number well, elf isn't here right now, so I don't know, elf. I gotta pick something for you, and I don't know what to pick. Honestly, I'm thinking of Freedy because we're playing Neomechia, so I'll pick a fire one. I think that's a way to go. Let's go with a Freedy there. All right, looking pretty good on the orange rug. Let's order... Just like that. Seventy-five. Just like that. Oh boy, how am I supposed to play this here? Got another ghoul here. couple of things working like that. That's good. 75. Do I need a ghoul, though? Don't know if I do. 40, 50 points. Nope, nope, nope. GE, you spoil me. 50 points here. 60! Ah! You know what? This is the time to start leveling up scorpions, believe it or not. This is definitely the time. This is the time. I have to get a whole horde of scorpions. Is one of the other challenges that I still have to do. Nick personally paid for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Should be fun. A whole team of scorpions here, so we're gonna forget the ghouls for now. Go scorpion, full scorpion. There we go. All right, so that's all right. That looks pretty decent. Getting equipment though. Do I got a brave hammer. Don't need to do anything with that. Let's see about classes. I look pretty decent. I just smashed Zemeckis, so he's gone. No worries there. Number one elf is a cool looking Freedy. This is gonna be great. Elf, come back, watch this later. You'd be like, wow, I'm an Afridi. Yes, you are. Level 16 Afridi. So, you've got enough to do... Let's see what you can do. This is 50 points here. I think it's 50 points per burn move. So, yeah. Do three burn moves so far. Hopefully go fat, you know, go more into the future. It's a pretty decent team. So, once we get a decent team here set up and all that, then we'll start worrying about the scorpions and all that, you know? All right, so Salisbury, Salisbury is covered. Let's look at Hadrian, see if that's going to attack me. Hell no. This team will not attack me for any reason whatsoever. Um, yep, we're gonna come down here with our best team ever. Garant, Cole, and Carlotta. 
We've got Elsance, we've got Lance, we've got other people to defend, potentially. Batterkiss is here. Uh, Batterkiss should get some troops and... It's in case we need to defend, we should definitely have some troops, so... 25 over... Thirty? Nope. Nope. None of that's gonna work. Alright. I'm not gonna worry about the Miguel family right now. We're just gonna... put Batterkiss up to a good position here, so that's... 80 points of... monsters I need for Batterkiss. I don't even think I have the money for it. 80 points, that would be 160, that's 320. Yeah, that won't work there. That's one that's 240. It could work with two gins. I know I need a whole team of scorpions, but you know what? We're gonna get Batterkiss up a little bit, just in case we have to defend something here. Let's go ahead and do that. Zero mana. Organize. All right, good. He looks pretty good. Brave Hammer. Nope. What would you give it to? Three. Five. No one attacked me there. Let's check out the domain. I still have most of my stuff. Zemeckis is on injured list on Logras, I think. Good. I like that. Let's keep him on injured list for right now. We can't have them attacking me like crazy. That's gonna be messed up. If they only keep two guys there, I'm definitely gonna come after them with my Salisbury team because, yes, I will. I definitely will. And with Carleon being all in right here, they could push into Lestino very easily. So, <laughs> is Scalio's messed up? Oh, they're gonna be so, so destroyed here pretty soon here. Okay. Okay, Lance, Aston, Batterkiss, Cole, looks pretty good. Camelford, Melgat, Salisbury, we've got that team there. Looks nice. Execute, move. Let's push down here. Leoness is probably over here now because... Me. <laughs> because moi. Because me. That's why. Driss decided to come over here and defend this. Nice. What do you got over here on Leshtenote? Nothing that amazing. Let's see what Kai decided to do. Boom! Ho oh, ho! That's gonna be fun. Hold on, hold on. No, actually, no, not Lance. Uh. Yes. Yes, please. Brasiliande, let's go and attack that. That would be awesome. But before we do, let's save her up. Escalio is going to be a thing to knock out pretty easily. Carleon's going to be able to come in here. It's going to be so nice. So, so nice. And I forgot to send my other team up there, but I will in a second here. Okay. What do you got over here? Nothing that powerful. Well, it's still pretty decent, but I could definitely attack it just... Just for the sake of it, why not? Let's go and attack and just uh, gain some points. They don't come after me, it's too hardcore. At least I push them back a little bit. All right, so here's the domain. We take over, kill a lot, or um, now I'm messing this up. Carnaboon, I don't know why I was gonna say kill a lot. So we take out Carnaboon and we push down into, Bra into Leshtenote. Carleon might push down into Brasiliande and we're going to really secure some of our future here, so this would be really nice. Let's do it. Yes! This is the one I wanted to see, too. I wanted to see this one so badly. Bring it on, Drist. Bring it on, buddy.
All right, Garrett, you can lead the way, buddy. I know you can. Bring our scorpion down here. All right, Mr. Trigger, we shall move forward with the proceedings. Big Maddie's level 18, looking pretty good. Looking good, Big Maddie. Hopefully you're enjoying this. All right, Carlotta. I'm thinking this should be a nice sweep. But Drist is here, so anything could happen, really. that space. Get the demon in there. Put this demon in the forest. That's a good tactical decision. Not using up the land. Uh, the ghoul is going to have to be supplemental right now. Can't really worry about him too much. Come on, Ulster. Make up your mind, buddy. Oh, uh, sure. I might as well. No reason not to. I'll get you all the way in there. Let's get the little unicorn off to the side. Let's get you off to the side. Uh, yep. Alright. I'm gonna have to pop protect spells from the corners. Garrett, you shall frontline like nobody's business. There we go. Uh, if I could get the dragon right in there right away, that'd be great, but don't think that's going to happen right now. All right, Cole. Let's see, what do we got? Um... I might as well, because he's going to have to come out the front line anyways. Big Maddie's in the back. Come on, Big Maddie, we got to get in the front. Got to get in the front, Big Maddie. And the lone ghoul gets to lead the rear. All right. Here we go. Starting up the battle. I will be right back after these messages. Well, you better not, you jerk. Do not do... Okay, good. Nothing dramatic is going to happen here <laughs> with the drake, at least, I hope. No more mandrakes.
Ah. All right, what's the tally here? Interesting. I see what you bastards are trying to do. Let's see. Dragon, come out there. Go do some battle. Sure. Excuse me. We'll do five. We'll four rock. Let's see. You can only go right there. So you might as well come down here. Let's attack this thing up. Other guy's gonna attack the the rock. We'll get that attack going. Seven. Did you protect him? Did. Okay, that changes some things. Let's go. Take down the rock. Get this thing out of my face. So, what's going to be happening here is. I'm going to try to do these on Friday nights. I know I'm schedule changing is just hassle for me. I'm sorry, but I kind of have I've got so many things going on in my life. It's nuts. Uh, so we're going to try it like that. Let's see how many other range you have. Let's see. One, two, three. I do have heals, so that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Level 10. First and foremost, but yeah, I'm probably going to be doing more weekend stuff, I think. That's what I'm going to try to do as much as possible, as much as I can, just because. And so yeah, tomorrow we're going to try to jump back into Age of Mythology, do some fun stuff with that. Driss decided to come out and tear apart my centaurs. Should be kind of fun. We'll see how long you last, though. <laughs> but we'll try to do with that. Uh, Sunday nights typically is the bringing Grand Edition of World at War, but this Sunday we will be taking a break for the Super Bowl because everybody's going to be so focused on Super Bowl, it's, it's going to be nuts. So I don't think we'll get to see much for that, but, you know. So, yeah. Change the schedule. <laughs> Time frame slightly. Stone pixies. Low pixies. You know, we got we got work to do. <laughs> it's insane. Oh man, they're gonna kill them, aren't they? I sure hope not. I really do. Can I get to go soon so I can heal him up, maybe? Please? I'm gonna pop power spell onto my. Be awesome if I could power spell my Fallberg and just knock out Drist in one try. Wouldn't that be insane? It would be insane. It would be cool. So yeah, tomorrow night I'll have something. Night after that, maybe not. But I am trying to do some Ace Combat too, so that's a fun game for me. I'm enjoying that a lot. A ton. A ton, a ton, a ton. Uh, breath Attack. Uh, high Slash, level 5, level 1. Hmm. So yep, everybody else that's watching right now, there is more to come. More destruction to come your way. Alright Drist, we gotta take you down, I'm sorry. Sorry not sorry, Grand Flame, let's blow down your house of straw. Nice. 
and the giant. I'll take it. I slash. On Drist. On Dunder. On Dasher. On Comet and Cupid. <laughs> 127. Sorry, Drist, but you gotta take it. You don't have a choice, buddy. I will not let you. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah. Let's go that direction. Probably the safest thing to do. Level eight. Sorry, Driss. You got to go. Hopefully we can take him out. I'm not sure I have the firepower to do it. Mostly he's black and red and I don't have those. I don't have the counter options that hurt him too bad, but at least I can make him low enough. He'll consider leaving. Oh yeah, Carlotta's going next, so... I think a fall brick should do it. You know what? Actually, it will. All right, <laughs> Fallberg it is. <laughs> we do a nice Fallberg after this, and Drist will be gone. We'll be able to push into a Scally a bit more. This will be really nice because then Carleon will come down, I'll come down, and then I'll be able to take out a Scalio, and Carleon will just move up and just do whatever they want to do. With the Empire, It'd be great. There you go, bro. Heal! We'll see. We'll see. No! Oh, not my level 9 pixie. I'm gonna lose it. Oh, the one time you get to see a pixie on the ground is stone. I don't know if you'll ever get to see this again in another Burgundine LP of any kind from anybody. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but if you have... Let me know in the comments below. I want to I want to know if you've seen this because actually it's the first time I've ever seen it. So Yeah, you're not hitting Garrett in the forest. I'm sorry. All those trees are gonna block you from doing anything. Okay, this is different. <laughs> This thing has almost 100% hit ratio. I had a weird feeling this was going to happen like this too. I didn't think the stone was going to happen, but I thought if they move the Drake up, he's definitely going to paralyze me. That's sort of the thing. Do what you want with that, it doesn't matter. I've got a fall bird coming right for you. You're out of the... you're... You're out of luck, dude. Totally out of luck. I don't care. Got two centaur shots. A Fallberg. I will crush you. I will crush you. To dust, Drist. To dust. And you're out of the blue. You can't even do any damage to me, seriously. 63. Big freaking whoop. I don't care. Daffy's out of play. Giant could hit him. He's protected. It's not a big deal. Can't even hit him. All right, hunter shot. And the eye, 106. Ghouls can't do much. I've got this in the bag. 
I'm pretty sure I do. If I don't, I'm going to be thoroughly upset <laughs> with the way this is going. <laughs> pretty thoroughly upset. Let's do 250, please. 220, alright. Okay. Let's see, what do we got going here? Let's start with a heal for... Yep. Very good. I have to do it this way. Sorry, but I have to do it this way. It's just the way it's got to be. 32, Vandal Scythe. Take some damage. We're gonna knock out Drist pretty soon. This will be pretty cool. Level 10. Okay, I hope this works. I think this should work, though. I think so. Ballberg. Drist. Buddy. You're a powerful man. I respect you. But. You gotta go, buddy. You gotta go. I can't have this. I gotta take you out. Haha, <laughs> you're good. I guess I'll come. I'll have to come back some other time. You sure shall. This will be a lot of fun more. You know, to have more fun like that. Level 4 Wyvern. Cool, cool. Scholar retreated. Goodbye. Victory is mine. Level 8, level 6, level 8. Level 8 trigger, I like that. Level 13 Carlotta, I even like that a little better. Well, they took out my pixie, so I did lose a very high level thing, but we'll have to replace that somehow. Leonia is attacking the Empire. <laughs> I almost thought they could do it too. They just did like normally that should be the that should be Norgard attacking that, you know? Nope, nothing doing. Here we go. Okay. Alright, so we've done a lot of battles for tonight, so this is gonna have to be the last battle tonight. I hope that we can do it. Because <laughs> Kador is here with some mages and stuff. So this will be the last battle for tonight, and I'll try to make some progress here, but uh, yeah, we'll just have some fun with this one. We'll see how this goes. All right. We'll level up our scorpion team here. Very nice. Very nice to do so. All right, Irvine. And the number one elf is here to play the game. Help us out. We get our support in place. The little scorpions will be running around. I think we'll finish this up and then we'll do some organize and get that set for next time, you know? But we'll see. I'm going to try to go for... And then some people would be like, Oh, you're going for so long. I, I'm going to try to go for like... 
I don't know. I guess maybe three hours or so. Just to, you know, have some fun with this, but... I'm gonna try to make it worth my while. Because I might only have one day of the week to do this, so I'm gonna do the best I can to make this uh, interesting, you know? Interesting, enjoyable, all that stuff. There you go. Bring it in. You could have breath attacked, which would probably have been like technically better, but go ahead. I don't care. Send him in there, attack the angel, whatever. That's fine. Because now your Hydra is going to go down pretty quickly. Breath attack, attack, divine ray, boom. Exoblast, it's gone. I'm really just waiting for Kador to come in. Once Kador comes in, that's when the party's gonna start. Then I have to really start thinking things through. Because he is a powerhouse. I mean, I'm, you see me play the Grand Edition right now with the Empire. I know how to use certain knights. Kador... He's like... He's technically the Dinadan of Ascaras. I love using Dinadan from Carleon. He's technically that guy, you know. It's pretty cool. There we go. All right, Kador. Bring it on down, buddy. Bring it on down. Boom! Right there. That's exactly where I wanted you to be, too. Oh, I feel so good. I feel this tingly sensation inside. And I'm glad he didn't do Dolores Stroke, because that would have sucked. But I'm right there to be able to do a Frost. I can do a Thunder Attack. I can do a Breath Attack. I wish I would have counterattacked him, but that's a whole other story for a different time. I have a dumb, I've got a divine ray on him. I was so hoping he'd go right there, and he did exactly as I hoped he would. Kador, you won't know the pain until you're getting hit by it, which will be pretty soon here. Just counting the time, counting down the clock. Till I can blast you in your face. Back kick? No. No back kick. This is the reason I put the Unicorn here. <sighs> War of Attrition. Can I have him heal himself up while pushing forward? It's just a defensive point. It's a defensive block. That's all I'm doing with the Unicorn right now. I know it looks weird, but I did it for that purpose, so... In case you were wondering, now you know. Alright, Gloss. Gloss, my friend! We can go forward. We can actually attack Kador. I think that'd be the better option, actually. Hydra's not going to be able to hit Kador. Glaz has a better chance. He's level 15. He's got a white attack. Kador can still murderize him. True. But he just went, and I've got so much other... I have so many other things planned for him, it's not even a funny. One sixty-eight. Looks great. Let's see here. We got scorpions coming out to play. We've got divine rays. We've got Gloss coming in. Let's do what we got to do, buddy. Should be able to cross. Cut. No. Knight sword. 
Okay, that's fine. Deathbringer, this should be like 215. 188, all right. Not too shabby. You're going down, bro. We're going to bomb you. Nice little divine ray there. 205. All right. I was thinking about a power spell, but power spell would have hit Regunus as a red. It wouldn't have done too much. Kador would have been okay. I do have frost spell, which might be a little bit better. So I'm kind of banking on that right now. Then again, I do have a... Th well... He is red, so... Not gonna do as much as a frost spell, so let's do that. Let's weaken him up a lot more. Get another attack going here. And... Hopefully that'll do it. So yeah, everybody else that's jumped in the stream, thank you so much for being here. If you wanna talk a bit, talk about the game Burgundine. If you don't know anything about it, Ask me anything you want at all. There is a description list down below to go and check out the Burgundian forums. Check out what's going on with the game and all that. Okay. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Very enjoyable. A lot of fun. Very much fun. If you like chess, you like to put together calculations of hit points and uh, damage ratios and all that sort of stuff, you know. Long time no see, Trigger. How you been? D-Downing, double 2007. Holy cow, man. It has been quite some time since I've seen you last. Thank you so much for jumping in here. It has been a long time. I've been trying to figure out my schedule. How I'm going to put things together. I might be more of a weekender kind of person. I'm trying to figure out some job situations and things like that personal things going on in my life too so I'm really happy to jump back in here and be a part of this again but I've been doing great a lot of things are going on in my life and things are kind of looking up somewhat so I'm really happy right now hope you're doing okay D Downing uh, but you know I'm gonna try to do weekend stuff so it's probably gonna be Fridays Saturdays Sundays and so with the brick and thing that's that's the reason why I'm like Going close to three hours now, I might go to three hours for Burgundine on a Friday instead of doing two days. I might just maybe do Fridays. You understand all that? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to get through life. I'm trying to, you know, make things really well for myself and, you know, people I love and care for. I'm trying to do that too. So I'm just, uh, you know, living life, I'm trying to do the best I can, you know, and, uh, so far, I feel pretty good. So, yeah. But how you doing, D-Downing? You know, anybody else that wants to jump in here and have a chat with me, that's cool. I don't mind at all. Just going to talk about Burgundy stuff right now. Tomorrow night, I hope I will get a chance, either in the afternoon or later on at night, I'm going to try to do some Age of Mythology for all the Age of Mythology nuts out there that are really happy to come by and talk with me about that. You know real-time strategy stuff I don't mind that's cool we'll do that but it's gotta let you know 
you know, <laughs> things are changing here and I'm sorry. I wish I didn't have, you know, I really wish I could, you know, get a good schedule, but life happens. Life happens. And I know everybody else, you know, just, it's the way it goes, but yeah. How's your night going, D-Downing? Let me know. Let me know if you got a snack, if you got something to drink. So far, I have been seriously, and I can't really sponsor this, but I've been seriously enjoying this Budweiser Jim Beam drink. And it's, I've always said Jim Bean. I don't know why. Jim Bean sounds better than Jim Bean, or Jim Beam. But it's... It's a beer slash rum, or no, slash whiskey. Seriously good. Seriously good stuff. But yeah, so major changes are happening. Trying to get work going. Working on that. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. Never needed you in the first place, but thank you for being a dummy to take the damage. My night is good, and I understand the whole life. I think, honestly, my life has not been that great since mid-November. A lot of things that have gone through since then, but I'm hoping it all turns around soon. I hope so, dude. You know, the thing is, a lot of people go through life within these months of November to December, and through November to December is pretty stressful for a lot of people. Personally, for me, it's always, like, better. I don't know why. Like, the number 13 is almost my lucky number. You know, most people, like, discard 13. Like, 13 is an unlucky number. I don't know. For me, it's like, I get the reverse effect. <laughs> Everybody else gets, like, the, the basic effect for luck and all that. But, I don't know, man. I Things have been looking up for me. I'm sorry. You know, it hasn't been working out for you as well. But I hope everything turns around for you. You know, hope everything starts looking up. Maybe take some of my luck. You know, there's like Big Maddie's here. I think Big, Mag Big Maddie is still here. I played a battle for him, and I took upon his. Uh, he was going through some stuff with the hospital, and I said, "I'm gonna play this battle for you. I'm gonna take upon your uh, your pain that you're incurring with the hospital for this battle." And those battles became insanely hard to play but I still beat them. But it was ridiculously hard. So I literally took his bad luck, put it on my battle, and I, I feel like I helped him out somewhat. So I hope I did, Big Maddie. But, you know, I hope uh, things turn around for you, D-Downing. You know, too. So. Uh, that's it, 78. Cortina, we have to guarantee this. You're still low level. Goodbye, Kador. I can't deal with this right now. She's too low level. I have to make sure we snuff him out as fast as possible. He is a beast. He's a tank. He's got to go. Have a nice cold frosty, Kador. I will drink to that. But yeah, D Downing, I hope everything turns around. Everything gets better. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I wanna say more, but I'm like so focused on making sure this is gonna work out right. I am sorry. But yeah, hope everything turns out all right. D Downing, you know, everybody goes through some personal struggles of things in life, and uh, life can be really hard at times. You know, sometimes you need a prayer from someone, sometimes you just need some luck. You know, it really comes down to how you picture things too the fact is we all get older we're not all gonna last forever and sometimes you just things just go the way they go it can be really hard sometimes you know you know to kind of accept things sometimes you get older and 
things happen to you and your body and you can't can't fight it, you can't do anything about it. Just have to do what you can do, you know. Hope that uh, everything can work out right, but life has so many things you just can't guarantee, you know. There's just so many things in life you're just like, I can't guarantee this, I'm going to do the best I can and hope everything turns out right. But even still, you know, it's like I just can't guarantee it, you know. I appreciate it, man. I hope things start to turn around too. I hope so. I, I hope so too. You know, because you'll, you know, you'll see a lot of people in your life, and they'll just kind of hope everything turns around right. You know, if if I could be there to help you out, I'd try to. You know, I'm kind of that. I'm sort of that kind of person. I'm kind of like a protector, guardian kind of character. You know, a lot of me is more of a dark knight in a sense. But if I can protect something people I care about I will to the nth degree you know bar none but I don't know there's only so much you can do in life you know and you gotta do the best you can you know because the fact is unless we find the ability to become immortal we're gonna live and die we're just gonna live and die and that's sort of the way things are you know, just, just the way things go. So people that watch my videos after I'm gone are going to be like, wow, he understood what life was about. Well, because I kind of do, you know. You only have so long on this life until, you know, you go. I think the point is you're, you're always, like, trying to, like, help out your prodigy. Or other people's prodigy. You're always trying to help out the younger generation to help them like succeed and grow, become better people. Um, and until we finally figure out how to have immortality, you know, <laughs> but that's a whole other story. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, hopefully everything turns out right. You know, and well for your de-downing. You know, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. And hopefully we can do the best for each other. I think in the end, if we can have a full society of people that love and care for each other in a good nurturing way, but we're not full of hate and all that, we could really push forward with the future. I think we really can. I don't know what else to say, man. I wish I could say something else. I don't know what you're going through specifically, but if I could help you out, that'd be cool. I don't really know what else to say. Wish I could help you in some way, but there's not much, I'm sure. Okay, can I kill Irving? It's a chancy thing. Maybe. Probably not. Let's try this out first. If <laughs> this doesn't work, then I guess we're done. Because <laughs> I'm going to power up the uh, air attack and hopefully that'll work. No. No, will never work. Unless... <laughs> Unless... <laughs> we'll try this out here. Nah, this will never happen. I, I'm i just gonna do it for the hell of it, you know? Just this, just the, literally just the hell of it. I gotta do it just, just to get, you know, my wizard up a little bit here. Because, yeah, I have a blue attack, but I also have a red attack. Unless I get a crit with Gilsis, 
Which I do not think for the life of me I'll get 104 damage off him. A crit? I don't know. No, I already got him down to one hit point. I'm... Yeah. I just need to take everyone's advice to try and look on the positive side. See, that's the point of life. And I think a lot of people miss that a lot of the time. Oh my... Oh... Cortina could have gotten in there if she could have won one space there. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to finish this up. Number one elf is going to do the honors. Goodbye. But yeah, just need to take a look, try to look on a positive side of things. And yes, I think that's the point. Like, a lot of people miss that because... You can look at the negative side of things throughout your life and find a lot wrong. And there will always be things wrong with your life. Things that you know you've done wrong, things that other people have done wrong to you. You're going to see this a lot in your life. But the more that you can push forward and just go, okay, I screwed up. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do a little bit better. I'm going to try a little more with this. Like maybe I need a little more of this. Maybe I need a little more of that. You can change your life for the the benefit, the positive side of things. Become a better person, or physically better, or mentally better, or whatever. But, and I don't know if you're Christian or what you are, but I'm Christian, you know, I believe in Jesus. And I think the point is, like, even if you look at other religions that are more into Buddhist type of stuff, they look at karma and they look at the positive side of things, and the more positive you can be, you literally become like a star. You become like a light. You shine for others, you know, unflinchingly, self-giving of yourself to other people, and you become this light that other people can see and mirror, replicate for others, and it just boom, 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 boom. You know, you just put all these extra lights in your life or other people's lives, and you become something more. And because you're something more, other people can become something more as well. And we just like reflect that to everyone in the world. I mean, the, the positive things we can do for each other. I mean, I know you're watching a strategy game, me like breaking down and destroying things, but it's because I understand strategy. I understand the opposite side of things that I can go to the positive side of things to understand that too. You know, how far you are on a scale is how far you can understand the opposite aspect of things. I feel like personally for me that makes sense. But, you know, that's just something that you kind of need to look at. And I think you look at the positive side of things in life and you can become something so much more than other people could ever expect you to become. And I think there's not there's not always a lot of people that understand this, but the more you really try to think about it, you can make a serious impact on the world. And that's just what I have to say with that. And so I hope you enjoy my advice to some degree. You know, I that's how I feel about things. And, you know, so... That's all I can say on that. Um, as far as this goes, we could try to do one more attack here, but um, we gotta check this out here. Calisent, we got a dead Drist. Ulster, Gallo, Shitlius, Miguel, Victoria, she could be a problem. Lettish Note, Iria, Camden, Bagdamagus, he's gonna have to have something set up for that because Kirlian's going to be fully set to go on the offense here. This is this is a guarantee because even though this is can be taken over, they can't. Kirlian is not going to change their course of direction right at the moment. They just will not. So let's see what we can class up. <laughs> not a damn thing there because everybody's here. I don't know why <laughs> I'm spacing out here. Circle, three stars, perfect, boom, high centaur, 
Well, I'm glad you appreciate it all, D-Downing. I hope this helps you out. I'm trying to be helpful. I'm trying to help change the world and influence it in a positive light as much as I can. Can't say I'm... I'm not saying I'm perfect, but, you know, do what I can. Did I, why would I betray Kai? I'm not... Dude, I am a very, very loyal person. I do not betray my allies for whatsoever reason, unless it's accidental and I'm just out of my mind. That's the only reason. If it's accidental or I'm out of my mind, or I'm heavily influenced to do it because it will help a worthy cause, which usually that never happens. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> just no, dude. Just no. If I do it on my time without other people watching, you'll never know about it. <laughs> you'll never, never know. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're doing pretty good right now. Um, we have to, hold on a second. That's four there. Lance, Batterkiss, and whatever. Where's my other crew? Where's my other crew? Where'd they go? Oh, they're there, that's right. That's a terrible team. Hold on a second. I have to think for a second. Oh, this is not good. What's well, not great? It's not terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. Let me look at location. I need to know. Okay, this sucks. That's okay. That's okay. Carnaboon. Oh, that's where they went. Okay. Okay. All right. We're all right. We'll be okay. I'll move over here. Thirty-five. <sighs> nope, that's not five. That's forty-five. <sighs> that's still too much. Ha! You just said he was ready to go on the offense. I know you meant against you or Escalio. No, he's going to go after Escalio. Definitely D Downing. Because right here, flash to note, okay? Iria Cam to Bag to Magus. This is what Escalio has at the moment. This is what Carleon has at the moment. Even with Marriott or Biarte, whatever Kai has here, you can tell on a map. Boom. He has nowhere else to attack. He's going to go down and destroy Escalio. I'm going to go down to Calcent, destroy Calcent, and then I'm going to crush Lothian. And that's going to be the end of Escalio right there. So, that's what we got. And even if they attack this right now, Carleon's set to go. Zanass is, Zanass is set to go. You, I can guarantee you that. You can guarantee that. I, I and you and we and everybody, everybody guarantees that. Okay. Okay. Good. Now that we're under standing, we're good. Right? I think so. Right. Thirty. Right there. Right. 37, 35, 35, 40, 45, 45. Oh, that won't work. Okay, 45, 20, 21, 5. Why is that 35? I keep messing that up. That's my problem. I'm getting tired. I'll start one more battle. I can't even math right now. That well, what's wrong with me? 
Here we go. We gotta go. No! Oh! Damn it. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's 95. 95. Whew! 95. That's. 45. That's 90. I'd rather have two centaurs here, actually. Or a hellhound. Um, you know, let's get a hellhound and let's get a centaur. That'll be a little bit of a divergent that actually probably would help out. So let's go ahead and do that. Unless I can't do it. I'm not but... I think I'll be okay. Okay. Twenty-five. All right, this looks good. No item to speak of. A brave hammer, which I can't do anything with. All right, they're going back to Aston. We're going to need some defense on Aston right now because Lance cannot handle that army whatsoever. Rosaliande, let's organize, let's check out. I think we can class. Well, we already looked at this, so it's not even a big deal anymore. Wyvern, level 4 Wyvern. Ah, that's 60 points there. What should I do? Too high. No reason to. No reason to do any of that at all. Okay, D. Downing, do you want to be named after something? Let me know, because before we jump into the next battle, I could organize and name you something. Give me a reason to. I have a Salamander. I have a level 8 Dragon. Unicorn. Scorpion. Well, I already named this one Trigger. Uh, Pixie. Ghoulie. A Demon. Big Maddie's here. Level 7 Centaur. Unicorns. A High... Centaur. Do you want to be a high centaur, D-Downing? There's a level 8 pixie. Oh, jeez, there's 30 points here. Check that out. I could do the wyvern. If you want to be a wyvern, I'd probably switch out the unicorn for the wyvern. Because it does bring me up there. It's level 6 unicorn now. A salamander. You want to be a salamander? How do you want that to be said? The Downing. Downing. 2007. There's only so many caricatures I can use for this, so... Let me know what you want to be. D Downing? I could do D Downing. We'll see. 15 points later. Let's see what we can get here. Can we get a ghoul? No, we cannot. I'm going to start to name it. Change your mind. Let me know. Downing is cool. Alright, let's BS this. Oh, jeez. There we go. You have become a giant salamander. Challenges. Well, we have to actually start up some of them. Escalio has to go first. And then when we get the uh, Saraha or we get the Kazan, we could do the ninja thing. Uh, we have to get a Talus. We have to get uh, Agile Team with the ninjas. We have to level up El Sans and Lance once the Empire is gone. Most of the challenges are going to come after we kill off the Empire. So there's not, I mean, we're working on them, but we have some time to go, you know? So as far as, like, you could look in the listing down below as far as the challenges and let me know what you're thinking. 
but yeah. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. This looks pretty good. Cole's a healer. I don't really need another unicorn specifically because Cole's a healer. I've got one, two, three here. Carlotta is level three. God, it's going pretty good. So pretty good, D Downing. Pretty good. Got you in as a sal matter. Looks pretty nice. Location. Aston. Brasiliade. Camelfort. Great. Execute. Let's do this. Calicent. We are coming in to Calicent, everybody. Hold on to your shorts. They will be blown off pretty soon here. Iria bagged Magus, and Miguel will be defending against Kai, Marriott, Dinadan, Biarte. I don't think for a second Iscalio is going to be able to defend this. Not even a little bit. Let's go ahead and save it up right here. Do one last battle tonight, because I do have some time, so let's go ahead and try it. And, uh, yeah. So hopefully you enjoy the Salamander de-downing. I think it's probably the first time you actually became a monster of mine. <laughs> I'll be able to use you quite efficiently tonight. Location. Calicent. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's do it. Here you come. Drist can't even hold this up. He's not even here. There's no way Iscalio is going to be able to defend this at all. Garrett goes in the front. The Downing comes right next to him. Dragon. Scorpion time. Trigger. Squeeze me. King Cole, Big Maddie coming down to play. Got a bunch of demons coming in here too. Level 7, level 8. Let's put you over there. Little pixie. Camden, you want to run away right away? Because it's probably your best option right now. Not to be cocky, but I mean, you can see my army. It just supersedes what you have. That's really all we got going here. I mean, D Downey, you can tell this is just. There's going to be a slaughter on their part. <laughs> we have a lot of good stuff on our team. They don't even have Drist here. Alright, Garrett, coming to the front. We can do it. D Downing right next to you. Trigger's gonna get there pretty soon. Big Maddie coming down to play. Demons coming in right behind. Come on, dude. I'm right next to you. I'm right next to you. Come on, man. Nope. Don't wanna. All right, I'm still gonna do my magic on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I'm already lined up, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Right there. There we go. Come on down, man. 
<laughs> he didn't even try to attack the demon. You could have the clay gum attack the demon at least. But no. Nope. What do you think, D Downing? You think this is a route? A route? What do you want to describe this as? Let me know, man. Let me know. I'm trying to focus on her right now. Just want to get this demon out of the way. Gonna be a cold day in hell, Demon One. Cold day in hell. All right, Elser, do your worst. I'll be right back. I really hope Carleon attacks. I seriously hope they attack because that would make my life so much easier. I don't want them attacking afterwards to finish off Escalio because I want to get some extra knights. I don't need them so badly, but I kind of would like to have some, you know, because Duomechia does have some decent knights to work with. I just would like to have a few extra knights just from one country. That's all I think I need. Especially if I have Carolyn helping me out here, because as soon as I'm opened up here, Carolyn's gonna be able to move north, as I'm gonna be like set on position there to defend for some, you know, for some bit. Um, I can move into Leoness's territory probably, as I defend from Ascaris, and you know, it, it, it just depends. Like, if I end up having to defend against Ascaris because Carolyn moved north. Then I'll move from Leonassa's territory to take out the Empire and work that direction, you know? 61. Well... This is probably better, D-Downing. I gotta do it. <laughs> like this. Downing, you get to have the kill, man. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you enjoy it. Take out those freaking demons. Goodbye. And now, Clincher. Hopefully, Camden will go down pretty quickly. 
We'll see. Dink. 20. 34. Alright, cool. Do, 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 do. Good job, dude. Good job. Put some solid damage into him. Lee Downing, where did you go, man? I asked you some serious questions, and you, you're not there anymore. I was just enjoying watching. That's cool, too. But Cole has the merry old soul. I think we should, uh... Excuse me. Nope. I have an idea. Not a good one, but I have an idea. Mm. You know what? Actually, it might be a very good idea. It should probably work out. Yes, this will be a very good idea. Big Maddie, if you're here, Big Maddie, pretty sure you'll get to level up. At least I hope so. I really do. You know what? Halo does not guarantee that in this game. Now that I remember that, it really doesn't. So we just have to take... We just have to take the chance, Big Maddie. I mean, it will give you a little more experience too, but it doesn't guarantee the, the hit. So... We're gonna have to try things by... Tooth and nail, Big Maddie. Tooth and nail. That's just what we're going to have to do. I mean, I'd love to give you the extra experience, but there are other characters I do want to try to focus on, you know? Like, getting Cole up there, you know? Trying to get a good team overall. But don't worry, Big Maddie. As soon as you turn into Bronze Golem, you should be totally fine. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. You should be totally fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you, you'll be perfectly normal. I'd love to do it, but... Guess what we're gonna do, Camden? You've been thunderstruck! We have to do it. I know frosts would work better, but I love seeing thunder strikes. <laughs> He's gone. You're not. You're just you're just dead. Level twenty. 
Okay, cool. I don't need it, but whatever. Uh, you know what? She should, uh, we should level up Carlotta a little bit. How about that? This thing is out of range. I don't, uh, let's see what else we can do here. Can we move you into the water? Nope, can't. Two hits on you, and that's all I can do. Yep. Gotta do it like this. We'll take out the clay golem, at least level up Carlotta a little bit. I'd love to hit the rock, but I've only got a couple hits on it, and that's probably it. 110. Good stuff. Take this guy out, Carlotta will get a level. Push forward. Take Brasiliande. No wait, we already took that one. Take Calicent. And hopefully we'll take out Escalio the next week and that should be that. I don't know, we'll find out. 320. Fifteen, one hundred five. Gun punch, miss. Good. Bye bye. Nope. I don't think it's gonna work. I wish it would. Maybe, possibly, but probably not. I probably do like. 208 points of damage. <laughs> 172. Not even close enough. Oh well. Yeah, whatever. Okay, all sir. Bye, bye. Goodbye, Daffy. Try to break down my level four ghoul. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yes, you can. You could. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's gone. I win. Yay me! <laughs> Victory. Level 9, level 5, level 19. Big Maddie's level 19. Big Maddie, do you want to see some more tonight? Encore? Anybody else want to see an encore? Do one more battle. I get an encore. We'll push it. One more time. Alicent. Okay, seven knights there. Let's see what we can do. Class. Um. Gilsus Claws Lance. Okay, 31. 25. Okay. 
Okay, we got a decent team there. That should be fine. Um... <laughs> there is no way Iscalia is going to be able to handle this for any reason. They, they have nothing left. This is nuts. Nothing left. We might as well just take them out right now. I don't know why I'm not doing it. I might as well just just do it. Why not, right? Look at the map. I go down, I attack Lothian, Carleon goes down, attack Brasiliande. Scali was gone. They're done. Totally done. We can finish this up right tonight. I could even auto it! <laughs> if I feel like I could auto this thing. Let's check this out. Okay, four stars, thousand points away. Fifteen points there, five points there. Nothing important. Thirteen, twenty. Okay, let's, you know what? I'm gonna do one more battle. Hopefully we'll take out a Scalio tonight. We'll make some real serious progress here. And that'll be really cool. Execute the move. Okay. I gotta do it. Everybody wants to see it. I know you do. I, do. I want to myself. No way he's gonna survive this. 18 monsters. What do you even have? I don't think it even matters. Carleon's gonna just snuff you out. Carleon's gonna snuff you out. It doesn't even matter what they do. It's just that that's a lost cause right there, Escalio. You. You've lost, man. You've lost. We'll save her up and we'll do this attack. Call it a night. Take out a Scalio this fast within one video. Pretty good stuff. Boom. Go ahead, take it out. I don't care. It's fine. That was just a distraction of mine, anyways. Carleon has made a less you know, please. Yes. Yes. Back to Magus is wounded. Now, on to the final finale of Escalio. Sorry, Drist, but you got to go, man. Boom. This is it, buddy. This is it. gonna auto it for a while <laughs> till we actually get there it's gonna take a while This is the last battle for Escalio. And I've got this whole thing taken care of. I'm surprised Cole is kind of leading it with the with the big Maddie right now. Okay, we are about to start up the battle here. Just wanted to, you know, do a couple things, make sure that this looks good. 
Level six ghoulie. Boom, right there. Come on down, Ulster. Please. Go right there. And you didn't even attack the ghoul, which you could have done that. Unless he's got the skull flail. I don't understand the motives behind his not attacking my ghoul. I gotta check this out. If he's got the skull flail, that could actually make sense as far as his position goes. Otherwise, he could have definitely attacked my ghoul. Okay. Level 6 Ghoul will try to turn into Vampire Hunter D. Let's see. Let's see if this happens. We shall see if this happens at all. Or my little orb thing is not lighting up here. That's interesting. It doesn't work. Alright, let's get in position. Shoot the bishop. Ulster. Come on, Daffy. Come on down, man. Daffy the duck. Alright, Drist. What are you gonna do, buddy? What do you think you're going to do today? I don't know. Might not get to keep the ghoul. What do you do, you know? 20, counterattack, 75, 77, 50. Nope. Fifty-three. If he doesn't stone me, I'll get fifty-three off of him, I think. Seven. Okay. Here we go, Garrett. We're coming into play here, buddy. Not the time for that right now. Getting advertisements for no reason at the moment. Perfect. Boom! Ulster. Mr. Scorpion trigger. Play 310. Could heal you up pretty easily. Or. Oh my gosh, this is done. Done and done. <laughs> Let's curse the bishop. Let's make him feel some pain. Then the ghoul can get out of the way. We'll be okay. Okay, Big Maddie. We're gonna see if you can get you can clobber him pretty good. If you can, then you are in the crowd. You're in the in crowd. Which it's always hard to get into, you know? Come on, Big Maddie, punch him in the face! Ah! Oh, Big Maddie! You just Whoa! He couldn't handle that, Big Maddie. He couldn't handle that at all. Out of the park. I still can't even move him. That sucks. Let's 
do a heal for a level 7 ghoul in case we can vampire to D out of this. Which would be amazing if we can. I'm I'm not totally positive that's gonna be a thing, but uh, let's give it a try. Take out some more stuff here. We might be able to save the ghoul. I think it's very probable we can, unless they do a bunch of crybirds and they try some other stuff, but Drist is way too far away for anything else to seriously take place. Okay, we're good. Or golden. We can get a Vampire to D out of this, which I really didn't expect. I was kind of banking on the fact that I was probably going to make a bunch of Scorpion guys. Which I'm probably going to end up doing anyways, because I have to make a whole team of Scorpions, so it's probably going to be on Lance's team once Haley decides to finally settle into our country. And be like, hey, you know what? You're actually pretty cool. You took over all this territory. <laughs> we'll actually make you something worthwhile. So hopefully that'll be a thing. And then Haley will be on the team. And I'll probably do Haley, Lance, and Alsace. And we'll probably work it like that, you know? Come on, Drist. Come on down, buddy. You know you want to. You know you want to. Nope. Not. Nope. Nope. Don't do it. Thank you. That's what I was hoping to be. Leave me be. And get out of here. Level 10. This is okay, I can handle this. I really can, hopefully it's not. Oh man. Good luck tonight, this is pretty cool. Little whip slash, critical hit of 42. You better not. Come on, I literally got muted twice tonight. With the worst percentages possible, this is not right. This is not right. Okay. Here we go. Taking out the enemy. We're gonna curse both of them. Geno Flame, get the rest out of here. Uh, Big Maddie. Uh, you know what? If we give Big Maddie a halo, no, it doesn't guarantee a hit either way. It just guarantees the percent percentage to go up, so. Protect. Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's do that. 92 to you. Geno Flame, throw a rock. Hopefully, that'll do it. Two ten looks good. Looking pretty good. Okay, I can only go. Oh, 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 oh. One oh four. I shouldn't be able to kill him. I don't think I will. 
I just want to get my... I want to get my big Maddie in there to do some serious damage. That's what I want to do. Okay, Vampire Hunter D. You'll be safe for now. Stone punch this guy. Please, Big Maddie. Boom. <coughs> Goodbye. Good job, man. Good job. Level 20! We have ourselves a bronze golem! Congratulations, Big Maddie. Congratulations. You've been thunderstruck! <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I love it when a plan comes together. I really do. Boom! Tonight has been, like, clicking on all cylinders so far. I'm so happy everybody's been able to be here. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for the subscribes. Thanks for the likes. Everything, really. I mean, it's been surreal. Literally surreal. I'm super happy with everything that's been going on. Everybody's been amazing so far tonight, so that's really awesome. We just gotta take out Drist, and that's it. That's it for Escalio. It's only been, what, this is the fifth episode? And Escalio's gone? So, yeah, took out an entire nation in five episodes, so. Seventy-four, she should get the kill. Yeah, she should get the kill. I got a feeling that this should do it. If I'm wrong, I don't know. And I am never wrong. <laughs> At least who comes to Brigadine, <laughs> percentages-wise, and things are not leadered up. Makes sense, but all right. I'm just happy. I'm happy, you know, just the way I am. Right now, I'm very, very happy. Let's see. Uh, fire. Yeah, I'll be fine. Set the pixie up. I slash flame. There's really nothing else at the center, so I think the center should be fine. Ah, oh, I'm just so happy. This is this is turning out to be an excellent, excellent battle. Seriously, excellent battle. It's really awesome. Okay, Daffy, what do you want to do, man? Gonna move in. Okay. All right. No I slash for you. Just move in and attack. All right, that's fine. See what happens. Okay. 126, killer shot. Ooh. 74. You can't go across the water. You can't go across the water. Driss turn turn seven. Flame attack on Garrett. Ooh, I thought he was gonna actually attack the centaur. Alright. I gotta say, for everybody else that's an Escalio fan, I'm sorry to see the end of it, but I... Escalio and Norgard are my favorite countries. They definitely are. It's sort of a tie for me. So it's always sad to see Drist go, but it's always fun to play against them. I just... 
I always enjoy it, and I don't understand how the hell something intelligence of 70 well okay now I kind of understand but it still sucks uh, all right that's got to go away <laughs> okay but I love playing as a scalio too so don't don't think I'm like you know totally that sense I'm pretty rational as far as hoping for the irrational of countries, because Scalio is probably the most irrational country there is. The most fun, though. Definitely the most fun. But you know what? Here's the thing. If I have to describe countries and their leaderships, and as far as the way they run their country, Scalio is absolutely 100% a banana republic. That's what they are. They just are. It's the way it is. They're a banana republic. Drist is completely in control. And nobody else can really do much about That's the way it goes. So, Escalio is a banana republic because of the way Drist runs things, it seems to be that way. Carleon and Leomnia are an oligarchy. Well, no, actually, Carleon is more of a monarchy. Leonia is an oligarchy. Norgard is a chieftain run Norse like, Viking like country and Elmechia is a monarchy obviously Zemeckis runs what you would think is a monarchy too but he just declared himself Empire so he is technically the monarch the Empire and what else No, that pretty much describes everything. So, yeah. <laughs> I think the only difference is that Leoness is an oligarchy. You might say it's because of priestesses and things like that. You know, it's like divina divination, like Rome decrees its pope based on cardinals. They pray, like, if you understand Catholicity, um, they basically determine the cardinal, you know, the pro the pope, based upon who they vote for, based upon who's the cardinal. So it's divination, but it can lead to particular parties carrying on, as far as a family system goes, as far as a priestess or a priest like leadership is concerned so that's kind of how that goes but yeah I think we've talked about this a number of times but you know you still want to talk about it that's cool Nine. 
Ah, jeez, that's right. I can't do anything with you. <sighs> Put a protect spell on you right now. Let's do it like that. Flame spill. Oh, curse. Curse on the downing. Downing man. Drist is cursing you. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to take that? Are you just going to take it? Number two. Right. Big Maddie. Bit Maddie, I hope this lands. I don't know if it's actually going to land or not because Drist is Drist. Holy crap, Big Maddie, you freaking hit Drist in the face with a critical 196. Wow, you should be happy about that. That just that is not something that typically happens. Okay, well, let's curse him up or. I guess Venom him, I don't have any more. I was hoping for a curse, but... What can you do? There we go, 411. The 411. Nothing. Right there. Let's move in. Wyvern coming in for the hit. Three thirty-five. Vandal Scythe. Really? Okay. Okay, D Downing. Counting on you, man. Seriously, counting on you. Please, crit, attack, now. No way. No way. Thank you. I need it. Like, you wouldn't believe it. I slash. Boom. Say goodnight, Drist. It's almost that time. Carlotta. This is spectacular. I love it. Oh, can't do that with you. Doesn't matter anymore. I've got the game. I've got a Scalio taken. That's it. That's that. Level 10. Perfect. Okay. Shoot up the giant. Give Drist a cold frosty. That's what I love to give everybody because I love giving everybody a cold frosty. Let's heal up at somebody. Anybody find someone to love?
Nope, can't do that. Cannot do that. That's uh, not gonna work. We are going to have to... Single Frost Drifts with Carlotta so we can get ourselves a very high level... Well, Carlotta. <laughs> a very high level Carlotta. Sorry, Drist, it just had to go that way. I I have full respect for you, man. I really do. But tonight is all about Carlotta. Level 15. Escalio has been annihilated. Level 21, 7, 9, 10... 11, 8, 10, oh my gosh. How am I going to handle this? I've got three or four high-level things here. Your Majesty, our last castle is... Oh no! Don't make a fuss. It's too late anyways. I don't care if they take us scholarly anymore. What? I feel bad for our ancestors. Ulster, what are you going to understand? Who is the king of this country? You must listen to me and not the dead. Oh dear, this is the end of Escalio. I think I'm going to cry. Don't cry, you idiot. I can conquer the world any time. I'm just a little tired of all the fighting. I'm going on a journey. I'll tell him ready. Really? What? You don't believe me? Of course I believe you. If you don't mind, I would like to go with you on your journey. Do as you please. What about you guys? What are you going to do? I'm allergic to all the other loads. I have no choice but to stay with you. You're the one who saved me. All I want in my life is to be with you. Very well. Let's all go together. We'll find a new land to conquer somewhere. Yeah, we'll take you on, whatever. My name is Victoria. I used to work for King Drist of Escalio. It was a very strong country, but even a strong country like that had to surrender to you. I'm attracted to strong people. You will have my support from now on. You better believe it, Victoria. We have a definite need for you. Boom! After about five episodes, bam! We took out a country. A whole country! Okay, perfect. So now I know and you know what we need to do. So we are going to block off Aston like no one's business and then move into Ascaris with Carolion because I'm going to use them to their fullest potential. Makes sense. So we're going back to Carnaboon and let like Carolion take over Salisbury and push into the Empire and let Carolion probably move through Ultrut and or no move through yeah hold on technical difficulties Ultrut Yorsa and then Orkney so they're gonna help me out with that because I'm gonna hold on to Aston like no one's business and I'm gonna push into Carnaboon Toria's next and after that, we're literally going to just take over the Empire. Because at that point, then I'll be able to really perform the challenges that other people have given me. Because I need to crush that. I need to make sure, <laughs> guaranteed to all, all of the fans of Burgundine, that we can really do these things very, very, very well. So, that's the point. Uh, I could go after a Leoness, but I'm trying to get to a Ninja Crew... I'm sorry I sound the way I sound, but, you know, um, I got a lot of phlegm right now. So, the point is, Iscaris is really strong. They've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They have 12 countries. We have to start to dominate them. We have to demolish them. Carolion has to come along for the ride, but... Shadow, wow. Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you very, very much. 
I've got things happening on YouTube and Twitch, so if you want to follow and subscribe, that's awesome. We'll definitely have a lot of fun. Definitely come on to Twitch or on YouTube and talk with me however you want to. And we'll enjoy ourselves as far as playing this game goes. But next big target is definitely the Empire. We have to crush them. So we're gonna live we're gonna leave Salisbury open to debate. And I'm gonna go into Carnaboon, move into Toria. Carolyn's gonna move into Salisbury and move over up and around that direction. So they can take out the uh, northwestern side, go into Orkney possibly. And after we take out the Empire, we're gonna go ninja team, aggressive team. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff as far as this game is concerned. So thank you so much for the subscribe. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the likes. Everything that's, you know, considered there. We're gonna leave a good defensive team on Aston to just block off Leoness focus on the empire and we'll figure things out from there but yeah it's been great so far and uh everybody else that's been here has been amazing thank you for sticking around and uh give me all the support you can you know it's been super awesome so that's all i gotta say for this you know we'll just have to figure this out later um i think right now let's here before we end this stream here, and I get too stupid about it, let's... I decided to go full stupid. So, <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons all the time. Okay. So, next time, we're going to probably defend here. We're going to let this go. That's okay. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Don't worry about it. But that's the end of the stream here, and um, I'm so used to Grand Edition buttons that I messed up some degree. But next time, let's see here, we got... I have to figure this out. This team is going to literally come back up to... Aston. That's really all I can take it to. And so after that, let's see what can happen here. Will Hadrian attack me? I don't think so. I really don't. Nope. I don't think that's going to happen either. Um, yeah. Not much else is going to happen, so... I'm still used to Grand Edition buttons. I should quit right now. Just be done. <laughs> Let's save this up <laughs> real quick so I don't screw anything else up. But we're going to go after the Empire. Pretty soon, pretty much almost immediately, we took out Escalio. Carleon's going to be able to help us out because they've got nowhere else to go. They don't have anything else. Like, let me show you the map real quick. Okay? So it's easy for you to figure out. Salisbury is not going to have anything on it. Right there. Right in the middle. The bottom. Center middle. Castle. That's surrounded by red. That's going to be taken over. I don't have anything to defend it. So, as soon as that happens, Carleon, the green, southern position, is going to move up to attack Salisbury with their two different armies. Going to take it over, no problem. No problem, Bob. Then I'm going to go after Carnaboon, and Carleon's going to go after Ultrut, and up to Eorsa, and probably up to Orkney, too. So, at that point, once I have Tora, Toria take it over, me and Carleon are going to be able to take over Escaris pretty easily. So that's what's going to happen. So pretty much next week, you're going to see some of this stuff. Uh, Sunday is Super Bowl, so we won't be doing Brigandine Grand Edition. So there won't be anything there for that. But tomorrow night, they're probably either in the afternoon or tomorrow night, there will be an Age of Mythology video coming up so i hope you enjoy it but um you know if you really like this type of stuff you really like brigadine and all that sort of stuff please subscribe to my channel please follow me on twitch i'm dueling it at the same time youtube and twitch are at the same exact time um leave a like on youtube if you want you know that'd be awesome 
you know, to have some more of that stuff that actually does help my channel grow. If you want to talk to me, I'm very willing to talk to you about this game, help you out with this game because it's a strategy game. And if you do like strategy games like chess or like other strategy types of games where it's, you know, turn-based style, I'm more than willing to help you out, you know, to help you figure things out. But that's all I got for tonight. I'm about to hit the sack. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, uh, you know, got something out of it. But uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, welcome to Burgadine, everybody. Thank you for enjoying. Thank you for watching. And I will see you same time, same Brigadine channel. Have a good night, everybody.